Now we have a medical breakthrough that could bring new hope to the thousands of Americans waiting for a lung transplant. This morning, doctors say that a brand new portable lung is on the horizon, promising greater mobility, comfort, and ease in the lives of these patients. Our Stephanie Sai has more. A few weeks ago, Ward Forsyth could barely breathe. Can you walk and talk at the same time? It gets rough because it uses up oxygen. Doing all right, though, now. With end-stage emphysema, the 49-year-old former smoker waits for a lung transplant. He's one of the first patients in the country to be walking around with an artificial lung. And if it wouldn't be for this machine, I wouldn't be able to get out of bed, period. It's a huge change from what lung disease patients have endured for 30 years, a cumbersome machine that keeps them bed-bound. Yeah, I think it's a blessing. The new device mimics the functions of a human lung. If you ain't getting enough oxygen, you can't run, you can't walk, and that's what this machine's doing is putting that back in my body and helping me. A specially designed catheter replaces the need to have tubes in the patient while lying down. They're able to eat, even exercise, so their muscles don't atrophy. This here actually feels like it's doing something for my arms. I know in my heart that a stable group of patients like ours treated in this way will come through transplantation with a much higher success rate. Oh, I need a little bit more exercise and can keep on going. But I won't have to start at the beginning. Dr. Griffith says the next step is this, an even smaller device, essentially a portable life support machine. For Good Morning America, Stephanie Sai, ABC News, Baltimore, Maryland.